a blessed Monday to us. Siguro in Cebuano, you understand what it means to say, mga bugar. Now we're talking about the abogado. And what does the abogado or the lawyer do? He defends no? by hook or by crook in whatever degree. And this is the very significance of the term that is used to refer to the Holy Spirit. In fact, as early as this time after the resurrection of the Lord, before the 40th day, which we will celebrate actually next Sunday, His Ascension, but in reality, as we count the days, will be on Thursday, technically the 40th day after. And 10 days after that, the 50th day, is the sending of the Holy Spirit, or the, what we call the, the Pentecost. Now, the description of the Holy Spirit as advocate, muna siya in English sa pulong abogado. Abogado or lawyer is Espanol, abogar. And what does the abogado or the advocate do? It comes from the word vocare, to speak in behalf of. However, when we are talking about the gift of the Holy Spirit, as we know there are many gifts, it is not only somebody speaking for us or on our behalf, but it is also a grace, a gift that is granted so that our tongues will be loosened and will be able to speak out the truth to speak out what is not just pleasant, but what is really significant, most especially in our times. Dili na nga magtindog rata, nyalain ang usulti. So, kita yun mismo ang mahimong instrumento. And that's the reason why one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, which is called the gift of tongue, is not just something about the language, which, by the way, the other term for, the, for language is also tongue. But it's also actually the loosening of the tongue so that we ourselves not only praise but declare what is good, what is true, and what is beautiful. And this is what Paul and Barnabas did in today's gospel, in today's first reading. They were able to do everything despite the dangers pressing on them. And one final thing about it, whenever there are persecutions, persecutions supposed to be our means of suppressing Christianity or the faith. But ironically, what is happening? The more that the Christians were persecuted, the more the, the faith spread far and wide. Kung sa may pasabot o persecution, to, kung sabi ni saya pa, aron lagson, to chase. Now, when you are chasing a person, asa siya maabot, and then he brings the faith with him or with her, they're able to propagate it. Muna nga, if somebody is actually planning to persecute the faith, that's actually against, that is actually uh, counterproductive. Because the more the faith is persecuted, the more it will be spread far and wide. And that is the reason why our faith is called Catholic faith, spread all over the world, far and wide. And I should say, forever and ever, amen.